он, я убедил ее, и вид как он в этом клубе, я растворяю Shut up. Not paying customer. Sit down, please. You have the money? Yeah. Can I see your Sasha first? You don't trust me. Time in my country? You don't talk much. Makes me a little nervous. You want to make me nervous? Oh no. <laughs> no. That's good. No. No. Such. English and it. One hour.
Да. Хм. Хорошо. Спасибо. I have friends. Friends all over the world. Even in that little bastard shit village. And my friend there just called to tell me that Sasha's mother has some rich cousin in America who has, how you say, um, very deep pockets. Hmm? And this uncle has hired a man, a very serious man, to get the kid back. It hurts. Not only my feelings, but my reputation. My business. I just want the kid. I will pay more. <laughs> I love to bargain, but... You have a problem. You've seen our faces. You have the same problem. You've seen mine.
always waiting for you downstairs. Get it here now. You owe me. What? Stuck my neck out for you. Gave you intelligence. Risk my career. The lives of my family. And this is what you do. That's what I do. I got the child out. That's good. What about this child? And her? She was nine, maybe ten. Do you know what these fuckers do when they think they're being raided? They hide the underage girls in the walls. And you, last night, out here blasting, the first thing they do is shove the kids in the crawl space. And then you turn the parking lot into a fucking inferno. Well, guess what? Fire spreads. Most of them died from smoke inhalation. You're not a cop. You're a soldier. And this is not Africa or Afghanistan. You might be used to collateral damage, but I'm not. to what you know. Go back to your shop. Yes, but when I read, it's a Romanian dialect. Apparently, a lot of people speak Russian, too. Well, I just hope that they speak some English. Is that for us? Only the best for my girls. Nice. Now, why we need a paparazzi? You want paparazzi? Hold on, princess. I'll give you paparazzi. There. There. Nice. There we go. Yeah, like that. Okay, come on.
really look at the city. Your eyes. Last week, Laura Perkins posted pictures from Paris. I figure I can outdo her in uniqueness, if not in grandeur. Admit it, old people suck at technology. I land this fight. I promise you, Paris is not that far behind. Let's not worry about Paris. Let's just focus on getting and winning this one. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> The guy they want you to fight? The white guy. He's good. He's a monster. Sweetheart, what's the matter? You know, I read you can earn good money as a trainer. I'm good at what I do. Come here, let me show you something. See this guy? See how he only favors one side? Right leg, right jab, boom, boom, boom. Now that's a weakness his opponent is not exploiting. He's not thinking long term. Me you do. You betcha. Put me in a cage with this guy. I take him out. Two rounds, easy. Okay. Along to death. <laughs> I get it, I get it. You're a pro. Ready for a comeback? You betcha. Okay. Now, can you use your superpowers to do something about the wireless in this place? I'm trying to upload the pictures, but the signal keeps dropping. That. Uh... Yeah, go go try the balcony. You might get a better signal. Okay. All right, I'm going to uh, take a shower. If it's not fixed when I come down, um, I'll have them move us to a different room. Okay. Oh, and we need ice. Mom said you get some, but she passed out. All right, we'll let her sleep. We'll go downstairs and get some later, okay? Okay. Second floor. 
floor near the ice machine? Sorry, I startled you. I'm Amalia. Becky. Nice to meet you. You here on vacation? Sort of. My dad's on a business trip. Let me guess. A lawyer. He's a fighter, actually. MMA? You're kidding me. See, now that's cool. It has its good days. Hey, princess, how'd it go with the internet? Becky? Becky? Becky. Becky. What's wrong? Did you let her go out by herself? What? No. Please come back to the room and call me on my cell and let me know you got this. How long has she been gone? I don't know. I was in the shower. Ten minutes less. She knows not to do this. She'll be back in a minute. Is there a nice machine on the floor? Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna go look for her. Call me if she comes back so that I can kill her. This high blonde. You seen her? No. Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just my daughter. She wandered off. Is she missing? She was looking for ice. Uh, I haven't seen her, sorry, but there are some ice machines. Yeah, I, I, I already checked those out. I'll ask my colleague. I was busy with the ambulance. Sick guest. Is that a girl? No, an older lady. Mr. Faden, is there a problem? Mr. Faden is looking for his daughter. When uh, did you last see her? Um, about 30 minutes ago. So, would you like me to call security? Yes. Yes, thank you. Becky! seen her? No. Sorry.
granddaughter of former MMA champion Andrew Faden continues to stump police. The 14-year-old American teen went missing only a few hours after landing in Moldova on August 31st, where her father was in talks about a comeback fight with European fight promoter Roma Entertainment. At a press conference this morning, Faden and his wife Monica made an impassioned plea for their daughter's return. We beg anyone with information on this case to please come forward. My promoter has um, kindly offered a $10,000 reward for anyone with verifiable information on Becky's whereabouts. And, and our friends and family have generously doubled that offer. And. Uh, Becky, if you're out there, um, know that um, we're going to find you, and we're going to bring you home. Thank you. The man you're looking for is no longer here. You're in the Legion. You're Samson Gull. Sorry, ma'am, I can't help you. Look, buddy, I, I don't know what your problem is. daughter is missing. She's just a child. The police say they found nothing. The cops are your best bet. Money. You know, look, it's okay. It seems like everything else in this country is for sale. So is this enough motivation? The man from the American Embassy suggested that we talk to you. Do I look like the man who can help? Come on. It's a waste of time. Mr. Ball, please. We were told that you were the best at this. Look, if you want to stack, come to me. If you want to find your daughter, go to the cops. Believe me, you're better without me. It's a small embassy. We all help out. Look, these people need you, all right? The cops have nothing. The raids do nothing. The real bad guys are protected. 
your friend, the inspector? Well, let's just say he's got the finesse of a bull in a china shop. Why don't you do the job? I'm the paper pusher with security clearance. I don't have your flexibility or your uh, your skill set. Sorry, I can't. You know I can't. The girl is 14 years old. It's been over 24 hours. Dad, she's running out of time. She needs you, all right? Plus, you need this. I can't. Stay out of it. Do you enjoy seeing dead people? Do you? Do you enjoy seeing dead people? Hey, for one bullshit psychology, I call your mother. Well, if you don't help people anymore, then all you are is a goddamn butcher. Your grandpa was a butcher. People need me. Seen her, she's my daughter. Fika. My name is Raimani. We talk all. Thank you.
outside the gypsy lady? No such thing as gypsy lady. The old horse. Antiques. Thieving horse. <laughs> Sorry, I did not see her. Why would the lady outside say that she saw her? Mister, that gypsy witch outside not been sober in three years. Also, it's an easy mistake to make. They all blonde here. You see? Golden girls. That's what we call the place. Have you seen her anywhere around here? Oh, she's, uh, how you say, uh... Why let her come to plays like this? Hmm. Tell you, American economy, very bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sending kids to make extra money. If your daughter comes here, you're not very good father. Clubs, pissing people off. Okay, so now you want to help? Are you sober? Until I find your daughter, then we'll see. Why do you change your mind? It's the right thing to do.
this thing and work alone. You're a good fighter, but you make lots of noise. I can see you coming miles away. What? And I can't see you? I never do. Your daughter was most likely taken out of the hotel in the ambulance that you saw when you first ran down looking for her. They said it was an older lady. They were either mistaken or the kidnappers dyed your daughter's hair when they drugged her unconscious. We now know that the guest listed as calling the ambulance never actually stayed at the hotel. And you're just figuring this out now? It's been two days. Mrs. Faden, I share your frustration. Do you? Becky could be halfway across the world by now. And no one's asked for a ransom. So the chances of this being a trafficking case are 80 to 90 percent more likely. Mrs. Faden, the statistics on the internet, they are not... The recovery rate for kidnapped children after 24 hours drops to 46 percent! That's less than half! Constantine, give us a moment. Mr. and Mrs. Faden, let me, as you say, cut to the chase. I have learned you have hired a private consultant, Mr. Samson Gould. At this point, we can use all the help we can get. I would not place your trust in this man. Why? Because he might actually get some results? Make you look bad? He is not a detective. He is an ex-mercenary. A hired killer. Do you really want such a man working for you? I'll hire the goddamn devil himself if he gets my daughter back. You do not come to regret your decision. His last recovery effort resulted in the deaths of four girls. Two, the same age as Becky. Two young. Although we may not be moving as quickly as you imagine we should, I want you to know it is my number one priority to get your daughter back to you safely. thought you should have all the facts. Well, we'll take that under advisement. I understand. I will send someone to take you home. I will call you later.
Come on, let's get you to the vault. Who are they? Don't know, but we can't take any chances. Come on. yet, but you will soon. <sighs> it's a reminder of the most important person in your life as of right now. You know who I am. That's why I'm here. I want the men in charge. Where is she? American girl. Not my thing. Then who? Oh no. Never touch Americans. Bad for business. Fucking cops raiding my clubs for days now. Competition. Who wants to hurt you? Russians. Always trying to move in. The only reason you're alive is because you have a job to do. I told you. Oh, shut up. You run the city. You find this girl as quickly as possible. And you bring her back to her parents by this time tomorrow. If not, I'll come back here and I'll carve out your eyes. One by one. Am I clear? Yeah. For no one now. I pay good money for you. So now you work for me. Take it off. Everything. There are problem. Please, I can't. <laughs> the next time you don't do what you told, I take this knife. them out and put them to work. Dad. Your retard cousin is throwing too much heat. Shut him down. El Khabiri thing could be worth millions. I've made up my mind. It's not worth the risk. Shut it down or I'll find someone else who Yes. 
stress on the cell phone. Oh, yeah, it's not easy. I have to go into work. Okay, get moving and I'll uh, text you the number. I also need an information on someone or something called uh, Al Calperi. Fine, uh, anything else, Dad? You want me back? This is me. Back. Change of plans. We're shutting down. What? Dana wants out. No! The money's too big. That old fuck's just too rich and scared to follow through. I see who's got the balls around him. Fuck off! You shut the fuck up! Fuck Danov. We've got the merchandise. A virgin. American blonde. We have exactly what they wanted. You see this? It's our ticket. We call the guy. We make our own deal. Shut up. Do you want to be a laughing for the rest of your life or are you ready to make some real money? <laughs> Tell you one thing, cousin. You should have got yourself a life one. yourself. One of Bogdanov's recruiters and his sometime girlfriend. In here.
putting it to work. Push it here. It seems that whoever took her felt under pressure, uh, afraid that they're going to be found out. Someone pushed them too hard, I guess. I stay. You put me up to this. You knew I was no good! A girl is dead now! It's your fault too! It's not my fault. It's not your fault either. Get away from here! Get the fuck out of here!
butcher with feelings. Own you. Here to punish. Come to my home. You kill my men. You threaten me. Mutilate me. to die. your daughter. Drunk. Get the fuck out of here! Hey, give him a chance, all right? Listen to him, please. Your daughter, she always wear her bracelet on the right. What? Does Becky wear her bracelet on her right hand? I, I think so. In all the photos, her bracelet always on the right wrist. When they found her, it was on the left wrist. It's a setup. It's all too neat. Girls are nothing to them. They killed another blonde girl and made her look like Becky. I think the daughter's not dead. What's the point? Why would they fake her death? It's simple. You kidnap an American girl here, you have too much heat. How do you stop people from looking but still profit from the girl? You fake her death, everyone stops looking. The DNA, it matched. A man once told me, everything is for sale in this country.
doctor. I believe you know Mr. and Mrs. Fedon, right? Please. What's going on? American girl. Yeah, that's what I said. Stelu. Yeah, and his connection to whatever that uh, Al Kabiri thing is. Be careful. Please. Even Stelu cannot protect you from me. Time to go. Hello, doctor. What? I'm sorry, you'll have to speak up, but... Your teeth. I see. That is unfortunate. No, no, there's nothing to worry about. I appreciate your honesty. I'll take care of it. Your plan is falling apart. What do you know about a butcher? Bogdanov said he'll take care of him. He didn't. This butcher is now with the parents. Together, they leaned on the good doctor who was indiscreet enough to mention me. Oh, good. Maybe the girl is not worth it. I could incentivize the sheikh in other ways. Let me fix it. You may need to find them first. If this butcher is local and he has heard my name, I'm sure by now he understands the predicament they are in, even if the parents do not. I'll find them. I'd appreciate that. Because keeping my name out of this is more important to me than the girl, the Al Kabiri deal, everything. Are we clear on this? Stelu's official title is the Deputy Minister of Defense, but his real job is number two man at state security, secret police. Why would they want to kidnap Becky? That's what I need to figure out. Stelu guy's head. The guy invited me here, said he knows the Prime Minister. No phone calls, no contact with anyone. But what would they want with us? Either by bribery or torture. The doctor told Stelu his name has been revealed. He would protect himself at any cost. Whose place is this? It's a safe house. My son arranged it until he gets clearance to move you to the embassy. Look, my daughter is out there. I'm not going to be hiding in this house. 
I can protect you and look for her at the same time. Anyone besides me or my son show up here, surely be dead. Still, those people can trace anything here. So no phone calls, no contact me outside, okay? Sunglasses? They're mine. Mine, no. Wait! Want them back? What do I get? No, not the glasses. Just, did they keep my other stuff? You know what, my wallet. My phone. Some advice? Don't do anything stupid. They want you pure for some big shot. But remember, there's many ways to use a girl and still keep her a virgin. Them. Their daughter's alive. The doctor faked the DNA. Still is behind it. Still, state security. That's ridiculous. Why? I don't know. I need you to find out. If you are right, why the fuck did you involve me? I have a family too. You're the only honest cop I know, okay? Bob. Those your guys? No. Stellos. Okay, listen. I'll be in touch with you through my son, okay? State security. Close off the perimeter. He's on the move. Where is he? Who? Oh. You don't want to play this game with me. No games, comrade. I was simply taking a suspect into custody. You interfered, he escaped. And that is what I should put in my report.
I don't know, some kind of um, old prison somewhere in the country. Listen. Biggie, are you okay? Are you okay? No. Yes. No time for that. I may only have seconds. I don't know where I am, but you can figure it out. Get my computer. What? Daddy, please do as I say. I'm calling from my own cell phone, so you can use the Find My Phone program on my laptop. Get a computer. Some desktop. Even if I have to hang up, you should still be able to track my phone as long as it's still powered up. Brilliant, princess. You're a genius. Were you hurt? No, not really. Just scared. Please find me, Daddy. We, we will, sweetheart. We will. Mom. You're gonna be fine, honey, okay? You're gonna be fine. Old people do suck at technology. Sorry. It, it's searching. Someone's coming. I got it. I got it. Thank God. Okay, please hurry. I'll just. Becky? Becky? No, no, don't! You call, your phone will ring, and they'll find her. the kids call. We should have the parents' address in a few minutes. Good. Send some guys over. I'll bet you are night with Marina here. They're coming straight to us. There it is. Chunoy 13. It's, a, it's an old Soviet prison. In the middle of nowhere. It's almost at the Ukrainian border. It's gonna take us all night to drive there. Should we call the police? Papa. You had me look up, Al Kabiri. Yeah. Turns out it's Sheikh Mohammed Al Kabiri. It's the main financier to the Northern Sudanese army. Since the new embargo, he's been shopping for a new weapon supplier. Now, if you're not touchy about getting paid in blood diamonds or other conflict minerals, then the contract is worth a billion, maybe more. So I guess the blue wants the deal. Right. There's still lots of old Soviet arsenal to be sold off. Plus, it's a great way to create jobs right here at home. Where does the Fenim keep come in? Alkavidi's a collector. Ghost? Virgins. Where it has it, he's part for the blondes. American blondes. The younger the better. So Stelou is... Uh... Trying to sweeten the deal. Bring him the one thing no one else can deliver. So they fake the girl's death, hoping we stop looking right so what's the plan now you get to my friend inspector and see if uh... hello i'm trying to reach golf hold up Faden. 
Fedan, why are you using the phone? Becky called. She's at Chernoy in prison. What? Becky called. She's at Chernoy in prison. I don't... You hear me? Becky called. Is she okay? No, we're on our way there right now. No, s stop. I don't... Can, can you hear me? I think we're on a run. Yeah, Chorne number 13. It's an old Soviet prison abandoned for quite some uh, time now. It's about 90 clicks north of here on the Volga Highway. Nothing and no one around. It's a perfect place for traffickers. Yeah, an ambush too. Come on, let's go. Get property. I'm sorry, I I'm I'm really lost. Um is there a phone? Private property. Well, I'm I'm willing to pay. Uh, here. Oh, sorry. Just don't shoot. Turn around! Slowly! We have them! We have them! Finish it.
Becky, that way. Let's go. Damn it. Sorry, boss, we didn't expect the butcher. Get everyone over there. Finish it. Get the kid ready to move. seen her. They took her to another building, I think. Where? For tunnels. I can show you. Please let me go. Which way? That way. And now they have Tanya. Are you guys sleepwalking over there? They're coming our way through the tunnels. Cut them off under building three. And get Tanya back in one piece. She cost me a fortune. Cut them off on the north side of three. Gabriel, come around from south in case they head for the gate. Look, there. They're on the north side. They're on the north side of three. Arsenal. What? I hear you're having problems. I'm 
handling it. See what you do. In an hour, I'll have no choice but to move in and shut you down officially. We have an agreement. Miguel, El Khabiri D is getting less tempting as we speak. I'm getting some very direct pressure from the American Embassy. I've got a police commissioner nosing around in my business. All kinds of scrutiny I spend my life trying to avoid. I can definitely... So you have one hour to make this thing go away. Or I will. Get it. What? Keep blocking the exits. But pull everyone else back. Get your brother and take high positions there. And there. I'm not losing any more men. And I will do the same with your daughter. We will trade. They want to trade. No! I can't go back! We can't trust him. It's a setup. Bring her. Quickly.
Kairan Stai. Ko ste? Get down! Get down! 
These your guys? Yeah. How did you know? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Will do. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your son was very persuasive. <laughs> the ambassador goes hunting with the police commissioner. The police commissioner whose brother was once interrogated by Stella himself. Good, kid. Thank you. I'm just glad you finally called the police. Time you'll buy a steak or two. Maybe when I come back for the fight. Okay. Now let's get going. Dad, your uh, <clears throat> your ghosts. You still visit? Not for a while. At least. Not where I'm working. Forgive me, Father. I have sinned. It's been quite a while since my last confession. I... I wonder... Does God really forgive even our worst crimes? God might. <laughs> 